even without questioning your wisdom and your judgment, in declining some of the amendments like the one that seeks to establish the Hustlers Fund, which was going to help many business people in this country to be able to access funds. And I'm well guided, Honorable Speaker, that uh, we can converse this as the uh, estimates are tabled, Honorable Speaker. And you have also guided uh, on the issue of amendments to the BPS. Honorable Speaker, I also did raise the issue which uh, I have not had you address as to how we prosecute the amendments if they will be subject to Article 114, as you said, as, as you read out, Honorable Speaker. I had sought guidance. Yes, I had sought guidance, Honorable Speaker, that if there is any proposal that is subject to either at 114 or standing order 114, the Speaker to give guidance as to whether we need as members of Parliament to appear before the Budget and Appropriations Committee to be able to converse all those amendments, Honorable Speaker. And following your guidance now that there are some that we may need, like that one that sought to establish a fund for M MSMEs, if we are to prosecute the same even during the annual estimates, Honorable Speaker, you realize they could also befall the same guillotine, Honorable Speaker, if they will be subject to Article 114, and of course they will be because they will be seeking to reallocate funds. I think the leader of majority and uh, the panel are interrupting you. Let me give you time. The leader of uh, the small, the minority in the majority. <laughs> Thank you, Honorable Speaker. The Honorable Aden Duale, the leader of majority in the majority party, was asking which leader. So I'm telling him I referred to the leader of the minority within the majority party. That is Honorable Kimunya, who leads the minority within the majority party. Honorable Speaker, <laughs> I was saying, Honorable Speaker, without your guidance or without the speaker's informed guidance honorable speaker as to whether as to whether honorable speaker if a proposal is to be brought even in the annual estimates without a directive from the chair honorable speaker that the budget committee cannot just table their report on the annual estimates without considering an interacting with members who will have made proposals to amend any of the proposals that come with the annual estimates, Honorable Speaker. And that's why I had sought within BPS and by extension even on annual estimates. So that, Honorable Speaker, we are, we are orderly in how we transact business so that the, the report is not tabled and at the time we get to uh, considering the appropriations bill and we go to the Committee of Supply, Proposals that have been made for amendments are killed at the altar of Article 114 and Standing Order 114, Honorable Speaker. And I had thought that the Speaker also to pronounce himself on that question that if a member proposes an amendment that has the money bill effect in line with Article 114 and Standing Order Number 114, then the Budget and Appropriations Committee, being the uh, re relevant uh, committee that deals with uh, money matters, Honorable Speaker, in consultation with the Cabinet Secretary of the National Treasury in line with the provisions of that standing order, will, as a matter uh, of, uh, of direct, <laughs> direction from the Chair, Honorable Speaker, is directed to make sure that any proposal that has been forwarded is considered, even by inviting that particular member who may propose amendments now as you guide in the annual estimates, so that if and when 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 uh, buyer proposes the reallocations he wanted for settling landless people in the coast, and he's proposing to move that money from one vote to another honorable speaker, then we obligate the budget and appropriations committee that they must sit with the honorable Owen buyer, get comments from the national treasury, so that his recommendations or his proposals for amendment are not killed at the altar of standing order number 114. Honorable Speaker, it's just that I noticed in your long communication that particular aspect has not been addressed and I would beg, Honorable Speaker, that uh, you do uh, relay that to the substantive speaker or if you can offer guidance, Honorable Speaker, so that in future, Honorable Speaker,
and I have said I am okay for the time being because the Hustlers Fund, okay. we will pursue it to the, its logical conclusion, Honorable Speaker. Okay. And okay. I must thank you, Honorable Speaker, for allowing us to debate on the merits and the merits of increasing money to our county governments. Okay. And I'm sure okay. those who want to be governors in this house All right. will be so, there to support. And those who are supporting BBI, okay. Honorable that, Speaker, that, that, will also be there to support. And also be... support more money going to our judiciary, order, Honorable order, Speaker, order, and order, establishment order. of the judiciary fund, Honorable Speaker. Now, and I thank you, Honorable Speaker, for the guidance. That, and I that, beg that, that you is... do offer guidance on the other issue. Well, now that you are comfortable in the meantime, uh, generally, I think some of these things, and you know we are at the tail end, we are at the tail end of this uh, particular parliament,